Hi. Today, we will see basic English sentences with a story. You will learn more English words step by step with easy English Abreu. Chapter 1 A Great Big Party. Once upon a time, there was a great big house. Inside the house, people were dancing, laughing, and talking all night long. The house was large with many beautiful rooms. Each room had different colors on the walls and soft lights shining. There were red, blue, green, and purple rooms. In every room, there was music, food, and happy people smiling. The owner of the house was very rich and strong. He had planned the party to keep his friends safe. Outside the house, there was a sickness. The sickness spread quickly, and many people were afraid of it. The sickness was called the Red Death. The Red Death was very dangerous and caused many people to die. The owner of the house was named Prospero. He wanted to keep the Red Death away from his friends and him. Prospero decided to close the doors of the house. He told his friends, we are safe here inside these walls. Nobody could come in and nobody could leave. The house was full of life, but outside, the Red Death waited. For many days, the people inside danced and laughed. They believed they could stay safe and avoid the sickness forever. There was a large clock in the middle of the house. Every hour, the clock made a loud, strange sound. When the clock made its sound, everyone stopped. They stopped dancing, talking, and laughing to listen to the sound. After the clock stopped, they began to laugh again. The clock scared them a little, but they quickly forgot. One night, the clock rang 12 times. The sound was louder and longer than it had ever been before. Suddenly, everyone in the house became quiet. They felt something strange, but they did not know what it was. Then, they saw a new person in the room. This person was not like the others at the party. The person wore a long red robe and a mask. The mask looked like the face of someone who had died. Everyone was afraid of this strange person. They whispered, who is this and why is he here? Prospero became very angry. He shouted, who dares to come to my party without my invitation? The strange person did not answer, but walked through the rooms. He walked slowly and everyone moved away from him. Prospero grabbed a knife from the table. He decided to stop this person from walking through his house. 
he ran after the strange person with the knife in his hand. His heart was full of fear, but he kept running. The strange person kept walking through each colorful room. Prospero followed him through the blue, green, and purple rooms. Finally, the strange person reached the last room. This room was dark and red with heavy curtains on the windows. Prospero was very close now. He raised his knife high, ready to stop the stranger from moving forward. But when Prospero touched the strange person, he froze. The strange person turned around and looked into his eyes. Suddenly, Prospero dropped the knife and fell to the floor. The people in the room gasped in shock and fear. The strange person removed his mask. There was nothing underneath, only darkness and the shadow of the Red Death. The Red Death had come inside the house. Nobody could stop it, not even Prospero with all his wealth. One by one, the people in the house fell. They realized that there was no escape from the Red Death. The music stopped and the lights went out. The party was over and the house was quiet forever. The great big house was empty now with no life inside. The Red Death had taken everything, leaving only silence. Outside, the sickness continued to spread, reaching many people. The Red Death was strong, and no one could hide from it. Prospero's plan had failed, and his friends were gone. No amount of laughter, dancing, or walls could keep them safe. The Red Death was everywhere, and it did not care about money, power, or parties. It came for everyone, no matter where they were. And so... The great big house stood empty, filled only with memories. The Red Death had taken what it wanted, and there was nothing left. This story reminds us that we cannot run from everything. Some things in life must be faced, even if they are scary. The Red Death may be a sickness, but it can also be fear. Sometimes fear follows us no matter how fast we try to run. It is important to remember that we cannot live in fear. We must be brave and face the things that scare us. This is the lesson of the Red Death. We must face life, its dangers, and its fears, no matter how strong they seem. In the end, the Red Death teaches us about life. It shows us that we must live fully and not hide from what is coming. The story of Prospero and his friends is sad. But it helps us understand that life is precious and must be lived bravely.